Okay, now that I have started the ordering process, this video is going to be wrapping it up. So let's go. Welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who is currently purchasing and planning for our eighth year of homeschooling for the 2024-2025 school year. We will have a seventh grader and a third grader. So let's go. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. I am so excited. I am so excited for the next year. At the point of this video, what I like to do, I like to start with everything that we're getting from Timberdoodle and then flesh out from there. And I know that there's a lot of things that I won't be acquiring from Timberdoodle. And those are the things that I am showing you at my purchasing in this video, but I like to start there. So let's jump right into it. And of course, guys, don't forget, I will have everything linked down below. We have already talked about our plans for the year, but if you need any of the printables, anything like that, I'm planning to share them in my monthly newsletters. So be sure that you are signing up for that. I do have the link right down below and I will go ahead and throw it right up here. Um, and I, yeah, I'm providing free access to all of these printables that I like to use for my planning process, which is kind of a lot. So guys, let's jump in and go order everything else. All right. So this is going to be kind of the second part of what I am ordering. So it will not be customizing our timber doodle kits. It will be kind of everything else. And while a lot of the things that I am using are free, I still want to give you a little look at them. So here's a free fun Texas history. As you can see, it's broken down here on the right. She has added a wonderful um, a wonderful like road trip option to this, which I think is fantastic, telling you how to use it, understanding that this is all just kind of open source stuff that she has acquired on her own. I'm going to supplement and add to this, but I really, really appreciate Darcy Hamilton for giving me a great basis to start with our Texas history. Okay, so. Here is, let me double check and make sure you can still see me. Yeah, you can, okay. Here is our chemistry program. Now, one of my goals is to get a little more techy and start adding these things to like our Google Classrooms and things like that. So that's on one of my goals, but again, free. I will be building out the supply list in my Amazon storefront. So I'll be sharing that as soon as I have it. Come on. Now, on Amazon, I need I do need to order this Zaner Blozer uh, handwriting for a third, and that is how we use our, um, Zaner Blozer is how we use our, what we use for our handwriting, and I absolutely love it. So I'll be doing the handwriting 2020 grade three student edition, which is cursive. Second grade was like half manuscript, half cursive, or you could choose just manuscript. Okay. Crash course. Now, crash course, you guys know, it does look like the next high gas is included in the Timberdoodle kit. So we'll do that, the, um, the Impressionist series. But as you can see right here, they have started crash course art history. So excited. We will be doing this for sure. Now, here is Dino 101, Dinosaur Paleobiology. We will be signing up for free through Coursera because we do not need three credits of Paleo 200, 201 for our, um, you know, college career. So we're good there. Crash course. Again, we are going to come down here and we're going to do film history, uh, maybe film production, but also theater. So that is what we are using for that, our group studies. Now, let's pop over and we are gonna order our Royal Fireworks Press. Now, I know what I'm doing here. So for the island level, if you recall, I have it all on Kindle Book Edition, but I don't like it on Kindle Book Edition. So I'm going to just choose a couple of the books that I know I will need that actually have um, some of the things that we will be working through. So that is Grammar Island, 
and the student workbook for Practice Island. Then the last one that I think I actually need so that she can write in the book um, is important to me is Sentence Island student book. And then I'll just use the other ones that I already have. Um, yeah, I mean, it's crummy that I'm repurchasing, but it's my own fault. I tried to save money and it was just not the right answer. So that is what I'm doing now over here for my going into seventh grade, the classic literature level. These are all of the things available. I don't think they have flashcards um, like they did for the other one. I'm going to go complete homeschool package. And I'm going to do paperbacks. So the whole thing, the entire thing. Woof. It is a lot, guys. It is a lot. And we will add cards. Okay, let's go look at it. Let's go look at it. Here we go. So we've got our three individual books that I need for the island level for my little one. And then we have MCT, the complete for my seventh grader. Now let me just double check this really fast because I want to make sure that I am purchasing smart here because let's see, 30. Oh, 3750 1550 and 4250 9550 how much is the complete set because that might change my mind. 325 no it doesn't change my mind how much is the students only package let's see 155 does that change my mind no i don't think it does so that is our Royal Fireworks Press order. As you can see, we took stuff to order. So this is a little short this year um, for kind of my second parter, but I will be circling back and letting you know, spending, tracking, how we are doing all of that. So I hope that you appreciated this kind of second part of my ordering process. Um, I like to keep them separate. I don't know why. I just do. So that works for us. Bye, guys. All right, guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. Of course, I will be coming here and sharing an in-depth look of all of the pieces, unboxings, uh, budgeting, budget updates, how I've tracked this year, what my plans are for next year, planning all of this stuff out. It is the season that all of this really kicks off. And well, I like to do it over summer because, well, we have a little less school going on and it's a great time to get these things going. Even like organization and things like that are coming up. Don't forget that I have a a ton of printables available for you to help you in your planning process. These are the things that I honestly, actually real life use to get myself set up for success. Yeah, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that the new year is coming. I get so excited this time of year, like the unboxings and the buyings and the things like that. It's such a fun time for me. Guys, I hope that you found any of it helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. And everything that I have shared with you today, shown you today, will be linked down in that description box, okay? Bye, guys. Bye.